The Beijing Winter Games are in full swing, with Europe currently dominating the medal chart. South Korea hasn't seen much success yet, with its most likely medal candidates, the short track speed skating team, falling short. For more, let's hear from our sports correspondent Han Sung-woo on the line. Sung-woo, what do you have for us? Bad news, Daniel. Bad news. All three South Korean semifinalists for the men's short track speed skating 1,000-meter event have failed to make it to the finals. Two penalty disqualifications and one forfeit due to injury. One penalty, Hwang dae hons was given for contact, and the other for illegal passing, Lee jun so Park Jang-hyuk was forced to withdraw after severely cutting his fingers after falling in the quarterfinals. And unfortunately, just an hour earlier, women's team ace Choi Min-jung failed to get past the quarterfinals in the 500-meter sprint, slipping with just two laps to go. No external contact was involved in her fall. Although it's not about Team Korea, let me add that just a few hours ago, some good news. Dutch speed skater Irene Wust became the first Olympian, summer or winter, in history to win an individual gold medal at five separate games, with an Olympic record-breaking finish in the women's 1,500 meter, an event she triumphed in at both PyeongChang 2018 and Vancouver 2010. That's quite a remarkable achievement. Uh, moving on to tomorrow's schedule for Team Korea, Song, what are some key events to look out for on Tuesday? Daniel, tomorrow's another day packed with action, beginning with the men's single short program of figure skating's 2022 Four Continents champion, South Korea's very own Cha jun hwan The 20-year-old faces overwhelming competition, though, from the likes of two-time Olympic champion Yuzuru Hanyu of Japan and his American rival and reigning world champion, Nathan Chen. So I can't say with confidence that a medal is within reach for Team Korea. Meanwhile, on the slopes of Zhangjia Ko will be snowboarder Yi Sang-ho, a.k.a. Cabbage Boy, his nickname. The PyeongChang 2018 silver medalist will this time gun for gold in the men's parallel giant slalom, starting with a qualification run at around noon. And keep your hopes up for speed skater Kim min who will be racing for a medal in the men's 1,500 meters slated for tomorrow. All eyes will be on whether Kim can improve on his performance from four years ago on home soil, where he won bronze, Asia's first medal in the event. That's all I have for now, Daniel, but I'll be back with more tomorrow.